Hello and welcome to yet an another lecture on basic electrical engineering. Myself, Prof. Thorai, Assistant Professor of Dr. Shudir Chandra Shur Degree Engineering College, Electrical Engineering Department. Till now, we have discussed about the KCL, Kershaw's Current Law, KVL, Kershaw's Voltage Law, Mesh Analysis, Loop Analysis, Nodal Analysis, how to approach to a particular problem with the help of superposition theorem, Heminin's theorem, and Norton's theorem, and in order and also the source transformation, source transformation that we have also done. Today we will discuss about the time domain analysis of first order RL and RC circuit. So, we will discuss about the time domain responses in response in RL and RC circuit. So, let us first start with the transient. The time varying currents and the voltage resulting from the sudden application of sources usually due to the switching are called the transient. Transient means the amount of response that is occurred within a system which is lasting for few milliseconds, it is occurred due to the switching cases or in other words, or the certain switching, the, this phenomenon of transient and which is, which will be there in the system for few milliseconds is known as transient. So, this is a basic RC circuit. One component is the capacitor that we have known that use that is generally the first order RC circuit. The order of a system is determined by the highest power of in a transfer function, the highest power of the denominator is determined the order of the system. So this is used for the filtering signal by blocking certain frequencies and passing other that is the low plus filter. So it is blocking a certain frequencies and passes other that is a low pass filter. Means it is passing the low pass frequencies. In any circuit with a single energy storage element an arbitrary number of sources and an arbitrary number of resistance is a circuit of order one. So what is the circuit of order one? Any circuit with a single energy stored element means the energy stored element are generally the capacitor or the inductor in a circuit. So a circuit having a single, here it is a single energy stored element is the capacitor. So a circuit having a single energy stored element and an arbitrary number of sources and arbitrary number of registers is the order of circuit having order one means number of energy stored elements are there. For a RC or a RS circuit, the energy stored element is the L and the C. If there is a single C in the circuit, means single only one capacitor is in the circuit, so it is a energy stored element having order of one. So any voltage or current in such a circuit, the solution to a first order differential equation. So in order to approach to the solution of the particular circuit, we are obtaining the differential equation that is generally known as first order differential equation. So let us take an ideal linear capacitor. Only capacitors are there. We all know that the capacitors are the energy storing device within a circuit. So in order to approach to a capacitor, we all know that the capacitor are the two parallel plates. The capacitors, in order to find the capacitors, we know that the capacitors are generally the two parallel layers that is responsible for store the charges. Same amount of charges that is stored on the two parallel plates. Say charges they have plus Q and here it is the charges minus Q. That is allow our voltage to develop within these two parallel, between the two parallel plates. And 
and this charge that is accumulated is directly proportional to the developed voltage and in order to omit the proportionality constant we are using a C that is called the capacitor to order the so capacitor C equal to U by V okay and the unit is in farad so let us see that the capacitor C is generally the Q equal to C by V the capacitor and we all know that the current that is going through a circuit or a capacitor is the rate of change that is DGT of the energy store, DGT of the rate of change in charge Q. So if I put the value of Q here, Q equal to CV that we get that the current through a capacitor is C into C into DDT of V, first order derivative of the voltage, which is the current that is going through a capacitor. I equal to D to DT, the rate of change in charge, putting the value of Q from here, Q equal to CV, just we get C into DDT of that is the current that is flowing. So, the energy stored in a capacitor it is given by integration of P into dt, P dt. So, just put the value P that is the C into V dV equal to give that half, half of C V square. That is the energy stored in a capacitor is half of C V square. So, that is the basic RL and the RC circuit, the first order circuit. One is the one capacitor or one resistors and the source and the resistor may be equivalent to the circuit with many resistors and sources. So what is the basic circuit of RL and RC? So for RC series, say I am telling. So that is the RC circuit. One is the basic circuit of RC is like that. A resistance and a capacitor that is connected that is called the RC this is the voltage source and this is the capacitor this is the capacitor this is the resistance and this is the voltage source so this is the series connection of RC this is RC series total series connection for the RL it will be a voltage source is there And the inductor is connected in series with the RL. So this is the RL series circuit. This is the voltage source V. This is the resistance and this is the inductor. This is the RL. Simple RL series circuit and RC series circuit. So let us approach to the parallel circuit. That is the parallel connection. the RL and RC. So for the RC that we are seeing that the R and C are must be connected in parallel. So the circuit will be like that. That is the R and that is the C. We can write that RC are connected in parallel with the voltage source V. It is the RC. So if that resistance R and L is connected in parallel, so there is a voltage source, simple circuit, that the inductor and the capacitor is connected in parallel, and the resistance is connected in parallel, the inductor and that is the resistance. connected in parallel so this is called the parallel RL circuit so this is the basic diagram of parallel and series RC RL circuit so this is the basic diagram of parallel uh, series RC circuit and let us take the basic RL and RC circuit the first order derivative 
so we have to find the time constant of that particular sum. So the voltage that is generated across the capacitor is given by dc equal to e into 1 by 1 minus e to the power minus t by tau. So we are taking the first order derivative of ddt of dc. It is given that e by tau into e is the voltage that is applied. <laughs> e by tau into there is the e is the voltage that is applied and tau is the rc that is the time constant of the rc series circuit or the rc circuit. Now when this given to a position uh, one the switch is closed at the position one means it is entirely complete the circuit. So that is the voltage across the capacitor. This is known to us. This is equal to E into 1 minus e to the power minus T by tau. So taking the first order derivative, we just get E by tau into E to the power minus T by tau. So dvc dt at t equal to 0 is the steady state value is E to the power E by when this portion becomes 1, so E by tau. Okay, so tau is generally known as the time constant. For the RC circuit, the nature of the response that we will get the nature of the response that we will get in case of the RC circuit will be like that. E by tau is the maximum value, the time constant. So this is the E by tau value, the maximum value. And it is now reaching towards that particular E by tau value. This is the response for a RC circuit. RC series circuit. This value is nearly even the E by tau that is given. And that will be given. Okay, this is the response of an RC circuit. Now let us come to the RC and the RL circuit. There is a, when the position means the switch is not taken to the position 2. So if I apply the conception of when the switch is taken into account of the position 2, now we are applying the TVL that is the VC, the voltage across the uh, capacitor plus ICR equal to zero. So IC we all know that we have done now that IC equal to C into DDT of VC. So put that value VC plus RC means VC plus RC into DDT of VC equal to zero. That is putting the value of IC here. So VC becomes A into e to the power minus T by RC. So initial conditions means the voltage across the capacitor. So when the switch is at position A, now uh, the voltage will be built across the capacitor is the input voltage that is E. Now it is time for the capacitor to discharge when the switch is moved to the position, when the switch is moved to the position 2. It is capacitor is charged now, it is time for the capacitor to discharge. And it is given that the initial voltage across the capacitor is E. So VC became the initial value E, e into E the into the voltage into e to the power minus t by rc so i c become minus e by r into e to the power minus t by tau tau is the time constant for a rc circuit that is rc so let us consider so for a rc circuit the time constant tau become the r into c for a rc circuit the time constant tau Now let us take an RL series circuit. So if I apply the KCL in this RL series circuit, KVL, so it will be minus Vs plus Vr plus Vl equal to 0 or we can write it Vs minus Vr minus Vl equal to 0. So Vr will know that R into I, that is R into IL and Vl is L into DDT of IL. So we are approaching to that particular thing that total summation L D D T of I L plus R into I L equal to V S. So this is the first order equation, the D D T of I L in order to find the I L that is plus R by L I L T equal to V S by L. So let us take the conception of inductor. Inductor conception is that when I allow a current to flow through an inductor, There is a flux inductor is generally known as coil. The flux is generated phi, which is directly proportional to the current that is flowing through the flux. So the, in order to omit the proportionality constant, the constant, the concepts of inductor is come into the play that is called the phi equal to L i or L is known as 
and the unit is energy in Henry phi by L. So this is the conception of inductor. So the voltage that is generally developed in an inductor equal to ddt of phi. So because from the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So put that value of the phi, it will be VL will be L into di by dt. So V equal to L into di by dt. So this is the equation of VL. L into di by dt. And this equation is given here. And this is the first order derivative, means we are trying to find the IL. DDT of IL plus R by L IL equal to Vs by L using the conception of ABL. So now in case of the series RC circuit, it is seen that when T is closed, that the Vs minus Vr minus Vc equal to 0 or in, order, in other words, we can write minus Vs plus Vr plus Vc equal to 0. So Vr again, there is a current to the resistance is R into IT and IT that I have just done is that in case of the capacitor it will be C into DDT of Vc. Just putting those values r into c plus ddt of vc plus vct equal to vs so ddt of vc plus 1 by rc into vct equal to 1 by rc into vs equal to 1 by rc into vs so you have to for the first order differential equation with respect to vc in case of the capacitor now the general first order differential equation that is the ddt of xt plus 1 by tau into xt equal to k that can be solved Solution of the equation is x t equal to a plus b into t to the power minus alpha star t for t greater than zero. And a, b, c are the constant to be determined. And a is called the force forced response is known as a and b into t to the power a t is called the natural response. One is known as the force response a and b into t to the power alpha t is the force response. It is the output from the first order solution of the equation of any first order solution. So those first two orders equation that can be solution with the help of these two equations. So for the first order RC circuit, now moving to the position C, that is the general solution for VCT equal to to the power E into the power minus T by RC or E into the power minus T by tau. When T equal to zero, D, D, T of VC becomes T by tau. So this is the general response for a basic RL and RC circuit. So the response will be like that. The response will be like that is the E by tau and that is gradually decreasing in nature. This is the general response for series RL and RC circuit because it is, it is multiplied with the help of the start and t equal to zero. it will start from that particular value e to the power T by tau and that continue it will be gradually, gradually decreasing by a uh, formula sum e to the power minus T by tau. This one into minus t by tau. So let us basic RL and RC circuit. The first order that is an ideal inductor is there. So that I have done it. That what is the energy stored? Just I have just done it that the uh, voltage across the inductor is L into di dt. So initial value. So what is the power that is stored in the inductor? Energy stored. It is integration of p dt. That's L di dt half of L i t square. There is one inductor. And one resistor and one source of resistor may be one. The source and the resistors may be equivalent to a circuit with many resistors and sources that we have just done. So energy stored is half of L I T I squared. So that is the basic first order circuit with the time constant. Indicate how fast that I2 will drop to the zero. How fast it is going to the zero, and that is the time constant that is given, and how fast it is just that just we have seen that this time constant now I have given the value of the time constant means the value of RC or L and it is how easily it can be when the different values are seen that how easily it can drop. Okay, and it is the amount of the time for IT to drop to zero. If it is the dropping rate at the initial rate is DDT of IT is uh, when T equal to zero. So this is the basic RL and RC circuit that the transient switch that is given here and we just moving from the position one to two in order to find the LDI DT. So LDIDT plus IR in case of the RL circuit, that is for the first order RL circuit, that's LDIDT plus IR equal to zero. 
so di by i it is equal to rl by dt now putting the integration from 0 to i0 to it we just find the value of it equal to i0 to the power minus rl by t so initial condition things when t equal to 0 i0 equal to this part will be 1 uh, e by r that is the initial condition only when t equal to 0 it is we act as a short circuit and the initial current will be i e by r so total current i equal to e by r e to the power minus rl by t equal to e by r into the power minus t by tau so the time constant tau for the rl circuit will be l by r so just what i am telling that the time constant tau for the circuit of series rl will be l or rl circuit series of parallel is l by r so what i have told that At time t equal to zero, inductor the initial value will be that the only the resistance will be there, and inductor that is there in the circuit at time t equal to zero. In order to find the initial conditions, it will be behave as a short circuit. So this is R, this is L, say this is the V and the or E that any anything you can say, and the current. So this is the value of E. So Y at current I zero means the initial con current will be e by r so at t equal to initial condition means t zero plus or say t zero minus anything the inductor will behave as a short circuit as the inductor is behaving as a short circuit means this part will be act as a short circuited part so if this part it acts as a short circuited part so means that this part is short circuited. So the initial current I is zero equal to E by R. So that is why the initial value of the current is written as E by R. Now in case of the capacitor, same thing will be happen in case of the capacitor. The initial conditions that we are found in, this is the E. So this is a resistance and this is a capacitor that is connected. So at t equal to same 0 or 0 plus the capacitor will be act as a this one for that particular part t equal to c0 plus so t0 plus or t0 minus anything that we can write so capacitor will be act as a it is means after the switching and this before the switching 0 plus and 0 minus so capacitor will act as a open circuit so there is no voltage across the capacitor so this is the capacitor and capacitor will act as this capacitor is the inductor and capacitor will act as a open circuit there is no capacitor so open circuit means all the voltage will drop so voltage across the capacitor will be will be given that we see at the initial condition will be totally so that is why the conception of d is there and it is decaying in nature so the response is is the initial values and how easily we can approach to that particular solution. So the summary is the time constant for the RC circuit is tau equal to RC. For the RL circuit it is tau equal to L by R. And minus 1 by R is the initial slope of an exponential with an initial value of 1 also. Tau is the amount of time necessary for an exponential to decay to the 36.7% of its initial value. So what is the time constant? It is the amount of time taken for a response the exponential response will be k to the 36.7 percent of this initial value so here the summary that we have that all the initial conditions that we have summarized and put those values in order to find the nature of the response of rcrl circuits thank you So today what we have done that we have discussed about the nature of the RC, RL series and parallel circuits and along with the initial values and along with the nature of the response. How easily uh, means the nature of the response for those RL and RC circuits we have seen today. Thank you.